Bro, told y'all be down south, we don't play I told my niggas we gon' make it one day What's good everybody, it's your boy right here, man, Kang Steph And welcome back to another Kang Steph reaction video Let's hear an applause for the Kang Steph family, the gang gang one time If you're new to the family, new to the gang step, gang, 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 you better smack that like button, comment below the button, then you love me to react to, as well comment more bangers you want me to react to down the line, as well hit that big red button, you heard me? If you don't know, you better ask somebody, you better tell everybody that we are Roll to 100K, spam it up, hashtag Roll to 100K. Gang step that gang, that gang, that fam up. <clears throat> Excuse me, lay. I didn't mean to burp that. It wasn't, that wasn't part of the routine, but you get what I'm saying. We on a roll to 100K, you dig what I'm saying? As well, hit that post notification bell for most public next shout outs. I'm sorry I'm talking low. My baby girl's in the room next door. So I gotta keep this little whisper. Everybody's sleeping in my house, so I can't really be too loud, you know what I'm saying? But in today's video, man, we are reacting to, to Kenny Omega. Comments that he made yesterday on Access uh, TV. Now he was on Access Channel yesterday on Impact Wrestling. Today it was AEW Dynamite Bomb Show. I got the video with Sting right after this, so make sure you make sure you hit that notification button once again, so you get that bell going, so you can watch this one and the next one. So without further ado, family, let's get into this Kenny Omega, his manager. Uh, I can't. They'll say his name, but we gonna see what he says. Post the comments on Access to Channel. On Impact Wrestling. Let it get it, man. Let it go. Cameras back there. Alex Marvez is back there as well to hope to get some words to the new champion. That wasn't good to work, huh? No, yeah. not at all. A very quick way. What an impact. No pun intended. Mega and Trails making a trip from Nashville. This is something that they very clearly have orchestrated for a very long time. It stinks. Yeah, it's, it stinks, JR. Last week, Kenny Omega broke the gentleman's agreement that he proposed to John Moxley, and it allowed him to win the AEW World Championship in tainted fashion. Omega played everyone. He tugged on the heartstrings. Oh, I want Don Callis there, the biggest match of my career. Omega really wanted Don Callis. There we see the snake himself. Omega really wanted Don Callis there to help him steal the AEW World Championship from in my eyes, the rightful champion, the previously undefeated John Moxley. I got a couple questions for you, champ. First of all, what about the gentleman's agreement you talked about? What happened there? What's your relationship with this man? And let me say this. I've been in the wrestling business since 1983. I've never been more disgusted in my life about what happened last week here on Dynamite. Wait, wait, wait. Tony, everyone, Tony, you're upset? Oh my God, Tony's upset. Well, Tony, you're just like everybody else. Because the fans are also upset, Kenny. Tony Khan is upset. I don't know why, Tony, I don't know why you're upset. You invited me here. You took me into your house and treated me like an honored guest, and you feel like you got screwed. Well, Tony, you're welcome for your first lesson. Welcome to the wrestling business, kid. Hey, no, Kenny. They're saying it's the biggest screw job since Montreal. But I was there that night, Kenny, and I'll tell you, winter is coming. The stakes were much higher with the AEW World Championship on the line. And you know, Kenny, I heard that, speaking of winter, that hell froze over last night because you were on Impact Wrestling on Access TV with that belt. Mm. All the paradigms are being broken, and people want to know, how do we cook this up? Must have taken weeks of planning, right, Kenny? Not weeks, not months, years. I've known this man since he was 10 years old, and I watched him as he became a world-class athlete. I watched him as he became the best wrestler in the world. I was there like an invisible hand, watching and protecting. And three years ago, Kenny, you and I changed the course of pro wrestling. Jericho, Omega, the Tokyo Dome, the match that Tony Khan himself said, without that match, there's no AEW. So you might say that Kenny and Don created AEW. We gave birth to it. And when Jim Ross says that we were thieves, 
and we stole this. I will remind all of you, you cannot steal what you create. I will also remind you, you wanted the best belt machine. You wanted seven-star Kenny Omega. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, your AEW World Champion, Kenny by God Omega. We always hear you preach in a family-friendly environment, Mr. Callis. And you didn't see me at AEW's birth crawling up to Tony Khan with my hands out. Oh, please, get my friends and family involved in this company. Can you please give them a payday? I never did that. No. I waited. Hey, when he said do that payday, I think that was a shot at Roman Reigns with Jay Uso. As well, I heard uh, with the interview yesterday, he made he gave, he gave a shot to WWE again when he kind of referred John Moxley as Dean Ambrose, and then with the guy I think that's Don Callis, he said a screw job in Montreal. Everybody know about the Bret Hart Vince McMahon beef when he think it gave a sharpshooter to somebody and Vince rang the bell and screwed him and and then that's when Bret Hart spit that loogie in his face and that's what kind of Bret Hart left WWF. And went to WCW where he flourished still. But yeah, if you don't know what I'm saying, then I made three WWE references. Montreal, yesterday with uh, Dean Ambrose with the John Moxley uh, comparison, and with the uh, payday. I think that's the shot at WWE with the Roman Reigns, Jay Uso feud. But yeah, let's go. Let's go on to the, let's go make the video, man. I bided my time. We waited for over a year while we plotted and planned. And oh, nepotism. Isn't it a wonderful thing? And I believe more than anybody else in this company, we've pulled it off the most successfully. You know, you talk about accolades. You talk about stars, awards, trophies. You talk about plaques, banners, buttons. <laughs> All of them pale in comparison to what I'm holding right now. You see, that's the most prestigious prize in all of pro wrestling. <laughs> and what we pulled off last week, Mr. Callis, aside from it being a seven-star classic professional wrestling match, you know what it was? It was a performance. I could say it was considered more like fine art. It was inspirational. And each and every one of you people sitting at home watching it unfold fell for it. Hook. Line and sinker. And whether you fell for it or not, I could care less. Whether Tony fell for it or not, I could care less. Jerry Lynn, I don't care. But the problem was that we needed you to buy into it, John. Yes, you have it all in the ring. Hold this, hold this, John. You have it all in the ring. <laughs> Look what you did to me. Look what you did to me. That's real damage. That's what you did, John. Yeah, you're the real deal, but you don't got it up here. And that's where this man comes in, and that's why you fell for it. Yeah, I used a microphone. I used a microphone, but no one kicks out of the one-winged angel. No one kicks out of the one-winged angel, John. And you thought last week was a big surprise. You thought Tuesday was a big surprise. Oh, we're just getting started. There's so much more coming. They can't handle it, Kenny. They can't handle it. Just remember one thing. Some people make matches. Other people make money. Kenny Omega makes history. So Kenny, why don't we give them what they've been waiting over a year for? Can you do the thing? You wanna do the thing? Please do the thing, do it for me. Okay, are you guys ready? Oh, I'm a little nervous, Mr. Callis. Okay, without any further ado, I must bid you adieu. So say with me now if you know it, goodbye and good night. Bang. All right, y'all. Y'all just saw it. Kenny Omega, Don Kylis, the post interview um, from yesterday. Oh, not yesterday, but them coming from Access TV Impact Wrestling and in today AEW, man. I don't know what else they got in store, man. Um, I don't know. Like I said, this is like an invasion again, uh, a mixing of brands of uh, AEW and probably Impact Wrestling. Like I said, they mix Ring of Honor in it. Hey, bro. WWE got, WWE got, got, WWE got their hands full if they do that, man. I got to salute on Chris Jericho. Uh, probably talking to the president of Impact Wrestling. If you talking to the president of uh, Ring of Honor, that'd be good, too. But uh, y'all be on the lookout, man. If you like this video, once again, man, you better smack that like button once again. I said smack it. You heard me. 
Comment below more bangers you want me to react to. As well, spam it up. Roll to 100K again, yeah. We on a, we on a roll to 100K subscribers, man. Let's get it, man. Let go. As well, hit that subscribe button and the post notification bell so you can get alert. So I'll drop another video right after this and another banger right after this. Until next time, man, I'll praise to the most high. And I ask that's his foundation so you can get this content as fast as you possible. You dig what I'm saying? I'm out, family. The champ, the guy, the king is here. And I'm out. Peace. Bro, told y'all get down south, we don't play home.